please welcome Pope Pius II. Good evening and welcome. How are you? I'm doing as well as a ghost can be doing. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Of course I am. Let's get into talking about what your life was. First off, when were you born? I was born on October 18th, 1405. And where? The Republic of Signa, Italy. Okay. Have you had the name Pius since you were born? No, I have not. I My previous name was Enya Silvio Bartolomeo Piccolonini. And why did you change your name? I changed my name in honor of Pius Aeneas, the Roman Pope Virgil. I understand you were an author and poet of the Renaissance. What were some of your works? One of my works that actually had my name on it was A Tale of Two Lovers. You say that had your name on it. So what was a famous work of yours that didn't have your name? Well, I had my commentary and autobiography and my other 13 works that were published, but I wrote them in the third person, so my name got lost along the way. Hmm, that's interesting. You were poor growing up, so how were you able to afford schooling to become an author? I worked in some rather unfavorable conditions to earn my money for schooling and I went to the University of Senia. Hmm. Interesting. What were your most what were you most known for as a leader? Well, I have a very positive image in my people's eyes because they knew me as a scholar and as a clever leader, a man of wisdom and knowledge and a very good leader that all people would like to have, I must say myself. So the way I dealt with problems in our country really resonated with them and helps with my positive image in my that's great. How long was your papacity? My papacity lasted from 1458 till 1464, which was a time of six years. Hmm. During your time as Pope, what was your main thing you tried to do? Um, my main thing that I tried to do was unite Europe on a crusade to, against the Turks that were trying to take over the country. Hmm. All right, Pope, Pope Pius. That is all the time we have for. Um, thank you for your ghostly presence, and I hope you rest peacefully. Thank you. Bye-bye now.